Hello, sacred beings of light and dark. Welcome back to week six of Solstice Echoes. I'm going to try to put together some thoughts and ideas that have been forming um, coincidentally or in relationship to each other during this time. I want to start by looking at the uh, returning to the drawing that I did last week and the fact that there seemed to be what I called a volcano of energy forming. As you can see in the right hand side where I had described a seaweed like flow of energy, but then it, that it was coming from somewhere below and then erupting outward. As I was drawing it, it was shortly after the Tonga volcano explosion. And it came to mind as I was drawing it and yet was not on my mind beforehand. Another drawing that I did this week with a totally different intention that was more personal to me also brought up this idea of a volcano in water. Um, in this particular image, I also see uh, an evidence of growth occurring from that explosion. And then other aspects that seem to be of a freeing energy of flight and um, movement. And then within a dream that I had just last night, what I witnessed was what seemed to be an earthquake. And then um, looking up um, to the hilltop where there was um, some rock, rock structures that seemed to have steam coming out like a, a volcano flue. And these rock structures then blew apart, but then also seemed to begin to have a life of their own. And I wanted to go up and take a picture of what was happening. As, as I reached the top of the hill, however, I did not find the stone beings running around. It was more like a lot of chaos and there were many deer present up at this top of this hill. This then led me to think about Medusa for some reason, I suppose, because Medusa is said to uh, turn people to stone, um, that perhaps something volcanic was happening, which then released this idea of turning people to stone and releasing whatever they have been um, made to create solidly within themselves. There's a lot of different stories that I found about the speculation about Medusa and so I decided not to go into that too much and leave that to you for looking up and applying those parts that seem to match in your own situation. But there seems to be this idea within all of this of something that is explosive, something that is solid and then it explodes outward. Another element that I've also been thinking about is the um, United States uh, Pluto return, which is going to occur shortly on February 22nd, 2022. And the Pluto return is about the alignment of the stars since the birth of uh, the nation. And it's about um, Kind of a cycle of death and rebirth. 
in another instance, uh, as I was re uh, listening to a tarot reader, um, she was describing how, again, kind of this explosive action where something inside of us is, is singular or whole and yet not been allowed to expand into full fulfillment. Um, and I have some notes on a calendar that say the Pluto return has something to do with emotional fulfillment, justice, and balance. So those might be factors that are coming into play within all of this. And thinking now about the mudras that I've been exploring of late, we've been we've been in the shift from Capricorn season to Aquarius season, and uh, Capricorn is having to do with the element of Earth. And I think of the element of Earth, and what I've just been talking about is that volcano that um, hardened structure before it blasts. And so um, now that we're going into the season of Aquarius, I was thinking of, of a mudra that might be good for that element of air. And I found this one of expansion. So a volcano definitely feels like something is trying to expand that um, uh, needs more force uh, to blow itself apart than um, just a trickle of water. Even though a volcano in the sea is surrounded by water, that does not erode it. Something inside needs to provoke it to then blow itself apart. And this blowing apart then made me think of fire, the fire of the volcano and the purification. So I think we'll work with these two mudras for this week. And uh, I was thinking about a third mudra of vitality that it might also bring, but I think I'll leave that for another time. This would be the water that's holding the space, however. So let's look at expansion. This is about um, assisting with lightness, ease, and appreciation. Um, with a focus on lightness and compassion, awakening to our highest truth. And this one is done by placing the index fingers on the palm and wrapping the thumbs across the index finger and keeping the other fingers up straight and then placing this on uh, your thighs. And so I'm going to breathe into this mudra of expansion. So for this one, I felt that there was a breath that wanted to push out, 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 out. And then my heart wanted to flat, um, come forward, <laughs> um, flex forward.
So I really could feel how in my body, how it was wanting to move that energy outward and expand, blow, open that heart center. And the second mudra for the day is purification. And this is bringing the fingers in and laying the thumbs on top, allowing the index fingers to come open and the thumbs to further down on the fingers in the folded and then touching with the index fingers and the knuckles. And this is at the solar plexus, which is the belly button. Going to breathe here for a moment. For this one, it was shockingly high to begin with. And I felt activity appear in the third and crown chakra, third eye and crown chakra. But then it seemed like something wanted to make sure that I remained in grounding. And so the lower tone then helped to ground this. And as I did so, I felt my shoulders drop. So it's as if the energy is erupting still, moving out through the crown, but remaining grounded within myself. So I hope these themes that I've brought forward today are provide some um, options for reflection for you. And allow you to sink further in to yourself and the ways that might surprisingly be expanded within you in the coming weeks. I suggest thinking about the things that are ready to be released let go of, allowed a natural death to, to allow more of who you are to expand within you and to be experienced within our lives together. Thank you for joining me today and I'll see you again soon.